What is up guys, Alex here back with another Sony Vegas Pro 11 tutorial and today we're going to be learning how to create a simple and quick Twitch transition in Vegas Pro 11. So I think you can also do this in Pro 8, 9, and 10. So you want to have your two clips ready on the timeline and we're going to need two video tracks for this. So you want to go ahead and right click and create a new video track and you want to place your first clip over on the top video track and the second one below. Now the effect is only about 10 seconds long so what you need to do is count the last 10 frames or actually the effect is only 10 frames long so you want to go ahead and count the last 10 frames of your video. And you can browse through your frames using these tool buttons right here. And at the beginning of the 10 frames, so if on the first clip I have the beginning of the 10 frames and you just want to cut it and we're going to place our cursor on the top right hand corner of the second video clip and we're going to have a fade offset as well and you want to get the second clip on the bottom video track and you want to again count 10 frames so let's browse through it and cut it again and we're going to place it directly below the second top video clip and you want to make sure it's only below so that only about 5 frames are they overlapping each other and then again create another fade offset so that this will fade transition into the next clip and now for the twitch part you want to go into your video FX and go up to linear blur and you just want to get the default now you can change the angle to any uh, angle you want but normally for this transition I want to change the amount and only change the amount because uh, just for this effect I want it to uh, twitch only sideways instead of at random angles so you want to go ahead and animate it and be sure you apply the video effects to the second top clip and we're going to go to the first keyframe and just to make sure set a new keyframe but make sure the amount is set to zero and we're going to go to the middle of the clip and we're going to increase the amount to about 0.2 and go forward about three frames and bring the amount back to zero so now we got this short really quick twitch but if you want to randomize the twitch of course you can go in between the first two frames and create random amount values and then you want to do the same thing as well for the bottom second clip so again apply the default and for this one we're just going to start out instead of zero for the amount we're going to start out at around 0.2 or around that value and we're going to gradually bring the value down so after about five frames you want to bring the amount back to zero so now what we have is this And of course, like in the video preview, I have sort of an RGB split. If you want to do that, you need to have either Vegas Pro 10 or 11 because we need to have the 3D stereoscopic mode enabled. So again, you want to make sure it's set to one of these 
anaglyphic presets. So depending on what color you want, uh, for this example, we're just going to use red slash cyan color and apply it. And once you apply it, the color of your footage is going to be a little bit more on the black and white side since the uh, stereoscopic mode is borrowing the red, blue, and green channels and is draining all the color from it. So to fix that, you just want to go into your video effects and then go to saturation, adjust, apply the default to the video track on both video tracks and we're going to decrease the center, increase the spread, and slightly increase the amount and do that for both video tracks. Alright, and now that we have the stereoscopic 3D mode enabled, uh, you, again you want to go into your video effects, go into the stereoscopic 3D adjusts plugin, and apply the default to the uh, second top clip. Now we can see the keyframes for the uh, linear blur, and we're just going to go into our stereoscopic 3D adjust and keyframe the horizontal offset. Again, at the starting amount you want us to have zero, and go to the second, or actually the middle keyframe, and we're going to increase the horizontal offset to about 0.5 or 0.6 and then go forward and then put it back to zero and you can do the same thing as well for the second bottom clip so animate it increase the value go forward and then decrease the value So now the final result should look something like this. And that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Again, if you have any problems with any step of this video, just ask me in the comments and I'll reply to them. And also if you want, follow me on Twitter at A20Productions. Right now I have 29 followers, but I'm trying to get to 100. And basically I'm just going to update my tweets if I upload a new video or anything like that. So I'll see you guys next time.